come in here not knowing your numbers. This is the Shark Tank. We're going to kill you. People ask me all the time, why are you so mean on Shark Tank? I'm not mean. I'm just telling the truth through the experiences I've lived. I was born into a working class family. I struggled like everybody else did. My mother was from Lebanese descent. My father was Irish. He was a salesman. He sold winter clothing for children. I was about seven years old when my father died. Those were very tough years for me. My dad died when he was 37 years old, leaving my mother alone with two children and a very uncertain future ahead. Life being what it is, changes all the time. My mother met a fellow named George. The two of them married, and life changed dramatically. My stepdad joined the ILO, a division of the United Nations. We lived everywhere. We moved to Cambodia, Cyprus, Tunisia, Japan, France, Switzerland. Every two years, a different country. Looking back at all the unique cultures I've been steeped in, you understand everybody's challenges in the world, not just your own. My stepdad's a very pragmatic individual. He tells it like it is. I think I learned that trait from him. When I got out of college, I wanted to be a photographer and a rock star. And I tried being a hippie for a few years. My stepfather said to me, you're gonna starve to death. You should go back to school right now. When I graduated, I started my first company, Special Event Television. It made sports programming for the networks. Then Softkey started my basement, which eventually became the learning company. And a few years later, I sold it for 4.2 billion. If you guys loved it so much, how come not a dime from any of you? A lot of people see me as the harsh guy on Shark Tank. It's so not true. Would you rather have me lie to you because I'm worried about your feelings? I don't care about your feelings, I care about your money. A shark that is disingenuous, that tries to keep you feeling good when they know your idea has no merit, is doing you a huge disservice. Today I'm really proud to be an entrepreneur and to help entrepreneurs so they can create jobs. You don't start a business out of greed or the pursuit of money. You do it for the pursuit of freedom. But I realized in the early years I didn't have a lot of time for my young kids. I was so busy with my business. So now I try and spend as much time as I can with them. Everything you see around you here, I made myself. I worked like hell for it. And I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm proud to be a capitalist. In my spare time, I love to cook. And I'm crazy about O'Leary fine wines. I'm still taking photographs. And I love to collect guitars. And oh yeah, I love to play them too. Like everybody else, I want to be a rock star when I grow up. Today I spend a lot of time teaching. I tell students, you don't start a business out of greed. It's not about money. Why do you want to be an entrepreneur? To set yourself free. The pursuit of entrepreneurship is about freedom and helping others achieve their goals at the same time. People always ask me, why do you keep going? And here's my answer. If you want to help someone, anyone, anywhere in the world, the best thing you can do is to create a job for them. Who does that? Entrepreneurs. I'll spend the rest of my days encouraging people to do exactly what I have done. Become an entrepreneur, start a business, and create jobs, and above all, support others who want to do the same. For me, entrepreneurship and the freedom it gives is the essence of life.